Men, today we're gonna to cover shoes. Shoes are your most important accessory. They will make or break an outfit. I have said this before and I will stick to it. Your shoes will determine whether or not your outfit looks great or not. So if shoes are that important and if shoes can make an outfit look great, then that's something we definitely need to cover and we need to talk about. Now, if you don't know which shoes to get, we're gonna cover that too, so don't even worry about it. Sit back, relax, enjoy the show. Now, before we get started though, I, again, I'm on a mission to hit 25,000 subscribers. If you're watching the video, go ahead and hit subscribe. It's free, it doesn't cost you a thing, but it helps me out. Also too, after you're done watching this video, watch another video of mine that will also help this channel out. And guess what? It's free. Okay, man, let's talk about shoes. I love talking about shoes. I am a shoe snob. If I could, I promise you, my closet would probably have about 50 to 60 different pairs of shoes in it but my fiance probably would not be very happy about that. So I'm just gonna stick with the basics, right men? We need to stick with the basics because the basics will always keep you on point and keep you looking sharp. So let's start with what type of shoes you should have in your closet. Now, again, this is gonna go back to what do you do for a living? If you work in an office or an office environment, the dress code there is probably going to be a business casual dress code. Right? So if you have a business casual dress code at work, guess what? You're at work most of the week. So guess what you're gonna wanna do? You're gonna wanna buy more dress shoes, right? Just makes sense. It doesn't make sense to buy 10 pairs of fashion sneakers when you're gonna be at work for 40 hours out of the week. So Monday through Friday, from nine to five, you're gonna be at work wearing dress shoes, right? You're only gonna be able to wear the fashion sneakers on the weekends and after you get off of work. So in that scenario, I would highly recommend that you do buy more dress shoes. Now, if you work in a place that's casual, then yes, go ahead and buy go ahead and buy the fashion sneakers, but I do recommend that you buy at least one or two pairs of dress shoes because I guarantee you, you will need them. Now, the biggest question I get when it comes to shoes are what color shoes or dress shoes should I get? Well, that's really easy. You buy a black and you buy a brown. And if you can only get one, you go with the brown. Now why go with brown? Well, number one, brown is a neutral color. Now neutral colors are easy to match with other colors. So yeah, you wanna stick with the neutral color. So why not black? Well, I'm not saying don't get black, but if you can only choose one, go with the brown. Black tends to be more for formal occasions. And let's be realistic, man. We don't go to a lot of formal occasions. So that's why, in my opinion, it's better to go with a brown shoe than it is the black shoe. Now, if you can afford to get both, absolutely buy a pair of brown dress shoes and buy a pair of black dress shoes. Now, for the more casual look, man, I always highly recommend that you go with a fashion sneaker. I go with a minimal looking sneaker. I don't go with the chunky fashion sneakers that you see around nowadays. I like to keep things simple and I like to keep them classic. And in order to do that, you always go with the minimal look. In my opinion, if you wanna keep it looking smooth and clean, you always go with the minimal look. Now, what color fashion sneakers should you get? If you can only pick one pair of fashion sneakers, I would highly recommend that you go with a white fashion sneaker. A white fashion sneaker will go with just about every single outfit you have. And what I mean by that, man, is you can actually wear a pair of white fashion sneakers with a suit and look great. So a white pair of fashion sneakers you can never go wrong with and you can always dress it up, dress it down, and you will always look sharp. Now, if you can afford more than one pair of fashion sneakers, I would recommend that you get a white one well, I would actually recommend that you get two white ones because white kind of gets dirty easy. So <laughs> there's always that option. But if you're going to get two pair and you don't want to buy two white pairs of fashion sneakers, get a white one and a brown one or a white one and a black one. Fashion sneakers have come a long way and they come in a variety of colors, man. So there's lots to choose from. But if you can only get one pair, again, I'm going to recommend that you go with a white one. Now, let's talk about the dress shoes, man. What style of dress shoe should you have? Because there's a lot of different styles of dress shoes, right? You have a double monk, you have a single monk, you have a cap toe. I mean, you know, it just like, you're like, whoa, whoa, whoa slow down. I, need, I just need something basic. So man, let's stick with something very, very basic. 
We're going to stick with a cap toe because that is so simple, so clean. A cap toe will always elevate the outfit that you're wearing. Here is a cap toe, man. Very simple, very clean. I love this shoe. This shoe I definitely wear with all my suits. So let's stick with a cap toe, man. I love cap toes. Now, the cap toe I have here is not brogued, right? And when I mean brogue, if someone says your shoe is brogued, what that means is they have a bunch of holes in there. I mean, the holes are designed to be there, but you can see that this has no holes in it at all. So this is a non-brogued cap toe, right? Now there are cap toes that have broguing in them, which they look great. I mean, it adds a little design, it's awesome. Understand too, men, that when you do get shoes that have broguing on them, which are the holes again, that takes the shoe, it brings it down a little bit, it makes it a little bit more casual. Is there anything wrong with that? Absolutely not. Can I wear a cap toe shoe that has broguing on it with a suit? Absolutely, don't be ashamed to do that. But understand when you have a brogued dress shoe, you should not be wearing that to a formal occasion, okay? And as long as you can follow that rule, you'll be fine with your shoes. So let's recap real quick, man. If your job is in an office, you should definitely be buying more dress shoes. If it's not in an office, then absolutely go ahead and buy more fashion sneakers or tennis shoes, but please make sure that you get at least one or two pair of dress shoes because you will need it down the road. Now, men, where do you get these dress shoes at? Well, it's gonna be all dependent upon you and how much you wanna spend. The prices for dress shoes and fashion sneakers vary greatly. I've seen some dress shoes that you can get for 50 bucks, and I've seen some dress shoes that you can pay 500 bucks for. So it's just gonna depend on what you can afford. I've seen fashion sneakers that cost $40, and I've seen fashion sneakers that go up to $200. It's just all gonna depend on what you can afford. So men, always stick to what you can afford. Now, if you can afford a high-end dress shoe, that's great. Those type of dress shoes are built to last your lifetime. It is worth the investment, and if something happens to the shoe or something's wrong with it, you can take it to a cobbler and they can repair it. And the reason why that is is because high-end dress shoes are built differently than the lower-end dress shoes. Not saying there's anything wrong with the lower-end dress shoes because they do look great. I have bought plenty of inexpensive dress shoes and they look great. Men, check Amazon. Go on Google, Google dress shoes. Look at all the discount stores. Look at Nordstrom Rack. There are plenty of places that have great name brand shoes at discounted prices. I mean, severely discounted. Like at Nordstrom Rack, I can think off the top of my head, I saw a pair of shoes that normally cost $250. They were going for $75. You cannot beat that deal, man. So yes, definitely look around, shop around, be smart when you spend your money. Make sure that you get strategic pieces for your wardrobe. And man, if you do have the money to upgrade your shoes, whether it be your fashion sneakers or your dress shoes, I will highly recommend that you always, always do that, man. Always do that. Because remember, man, that your shoes are your most important accessory. That's gonna wrap it up for this video, man. Thank you so much for watching and taking the time out of your busy schedule because I know that you are busy to watch this video. Remember to stay hungry, stay focused, stay humble, and I'll see you at the top.